Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel. So today I've got a haul to you, a haul to you, I've got a haul for you, um, and it is for Ulta and Sephora, and I think I did a Sephora Ulta haul not long ago, but I usually like to shop online when I can get some type of deal, and I did get a deal with Ulta, so I'll start with Ulta, and... First thing that I'm going to show you guys is I bought the new Tarte Exotic Eyes Palette. It looks like this. And it's really pretty. And I think it's only $25. And so the packaging looks like this. It's this really pretty purple croc skin type of um, packaging. And then you've got the colors right here. So you've got your matte and your shimmers. And then you've got like the pink packaging and then the mirror. And I think that, yeah, that was, I think, $24. And then I picked up the Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Buttercream. And this is new. I didn't see this at the store in the color Forbidden Nude. And I have tried this once, and it's really pretty. This really pretty um, pink. Hopefully you guys can see that there. It's not sticky at all. It's really nice on the lips. And I picked up the EOS. This is the Coconut. I think it's the Coconut. No. Is it coconut? Coconut vanilla, maybe? I can't remember what that one is. Let me see if I've got... Yep, that was the coconut. And then I picked up a... I have never tried a products. I have never tried products from the Body Shop line. And I picked up a... Um, it's a shimmer balm. So it looks like this. And it's just like one of those like um, stick things. It reminds me of the Maybelline. However... There are um, tiny pieces of shimmer glitter in there. And when you do wear it on the lips, you can feel them a little bit. So that's the only thing I don't like about it. And then I did get um, a sample of the Bare Skin. Mine was in the color, uh, I think this was like Bare Natural, yeah. And the color match seemed to be okay, but it was just too, um, like, of a, a serum-y, oily um, texture for my skin and just didn't work well. It made me um, really oily through the day. And I think, yeah, and then there's just some samples and stuff in there. So that's what I got at Sephora. And I do want to mention, um, this is obviously not from um, Sephora or uh, Ulta, but this is the Estee Lauder, uh, what is this? The Crystal Baby, this is the Illuminating Blush. And I believe this could be sold out. I did buy mine from Nordstrom's and it was there a couple of weeks ago, but it could be gone now. So this is the packaging and this is my first Estee Lauder blush. And it's more of like a, it's a highlight basically. I wouldn't wear this as a blush. So the packaging looks like this, which is really pretty. I'll swatch it for you guys. And it's right there, so I don't know if that's going to pick up or not. But I did grab that. And I wanted to make sure I showed you guys that because it's, it's really pretty. But I would definitely use it as a highlight, not blush. Okay, so on to Sephora. I splurged on Glam Glow. So I bought the Glam Glow. This is the Power Mud. I'll show you guys what it looks like. I got a sample of this from Sephora. And I decided to buy the full size version. So this is just the green one. And then you've got the consistency in there. It smells so good. I don't even know how to really describe that to you guys. And you know, 69, I think it was $69. 69 is a lot for a mask. Um, but what I started to realize is I'm spending all this money on makeup and I invest a lot in makeup, but I never invest in skincare and your skin is the base of your makeup. So if you're not investing in your skin, it's not going to matter how many different products you put on your face, no matter how many different foundations that you put on your skin. If your skin is not in good condition, it is not going to matter. So I'm investing in skincare. I'm really going to try. And then I bought the Glam Glow. This is the um, eye treatment. And the way I justified this was Yes, it's $69, and yes, it's super expensive, but what you get inside, you get these little pods, and each pod is for one eye, like one left, one right under eye, 
you do not need to put um, a whole, um, you, you don't use both, honestly. There is a decent amount of product that you can put one pod on each eye underneath your eye. And what you do is you just um, apply it underneath your eye and it's enough product. You don't need to use the whole thing. So this um, comes with 12, but it actually will last you for 24 uses the way I used it. And then um, there was a, um, a deal going on where you get a um, Bare Minerals, kind of like a their best little deals in here. So I got a eyeshadow combo, a lipstick, and a blush. And the colors, let's see here if it says on the back here. The eyeshadow was top shelf, and the blush was, um, let's see here, top shelf. Maybe I'll just have to open it up for you guys and show it to you. Because I think these would be really pretty colors just to go ahead and buy on their own. So the blush is in the color Beauty. And I'll just swatch a little bit for you guys here. I've got a ton of swatches on my hand right now. So I'm hoping they're going to show up. Okay, so that is the blush right there. And honestly, like loose blushes are not my favorite just because they're really hard. You can't really bring them anywhere with you because they're just so hard to, you know, travel with. And then the lipstick was in Speak Your Mind. Like that. And I'll just, I'll put it next to, I'll put it right next to the bare middle. So it's right there. And then the eyeshadow was in Top Shelf. And I believe I actually heard um, um, Jesse Jacker talk about this product in this color. And it's super smooth formula. And I'm not sure where I'm going to swatch this. Uh, I'll swatch it right down below, I guess. Oh, that is creamy. And so it's those two colors right there. got that and then let's see here I picked up the Smashbox photo finish this is a blemish control primer and then I get a hundred point reward for the Algenist this is the advanced anti-aging repairing oil so I did get that and I think that was it yeah that was it so that is what I got for between Sephora and Ulta um, on my last um, haul that I did online with them. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and post them in the comments below. Otherwise, I am probably going to do a review on the Glam Glow separately. And um, if you guys have any specific questions regarding that too, just go ahead and let me know. That way I can put it in the video. Thanks for all, so much for watching now that I can't talk. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.